Hi, welcome to Cute Things by Rebecca. I am Rebecca. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on the swoop bag. This is my most popular bag and people would like to see how it's made. So here we are. Um, these are the supplies we are going to use. I'm making a 5x7 lined bag. So I have my pieces cut at 6x8 on everything except the little top piece. Um, so the back, 6x8, front, 6x8. This is 2x8. I have a zipper that's 8 inches. Eh, I think it's 9 inches. Um, I'm going to use um, a lobster clasp for a side thing. And then I'm going to make um, a little keep up to hold on to this bag. Um, this is my applique piece. It's larger than what I need, but I'd rather have more than not enough. This is for the swoop part. And then um, lining pieces, two pieces of 6x8 and 2x8 uh, on the top. So those are the supplies that we'll need. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so step one is a placement step. And this is going to line up for our zipper. So you can take your zipper and line it up in between here and put your teeth. Line it up with the center line right there and secure it with tape and then run the next step which will secure the zipper onto the stabilizer. Okay, now that my zipper is on the stabilizer, the next step is going to run a straight line for the top. So go ahead and place up your fabric or your vinyl right up to the zipper there. If you're using fabric, you can just lay it lined up with the edge of your zipper and then that way, after that line runs, you can fold it over. But since I'm using the vinyl, we're going to just butt it right up to the zipper. That secured the vinyl on. Now run the next step. It's going to just hold everything together on the top. Okay, now the next section is just like the top, just at the bottom. So go ahead and run those next two steps. So now that everything is secure, the next step is a placement step for your applique. It's step seven on the design. So go ahead and run that and it's just gonna show you where to place your applique fabric. There is a placement for your applique. Now take your fabric and just make sure it covers that entire placement. And then you're going to run a tack down. It's gonna tack down your fabric there. Now that your applique fabric is tacked down, we're going to trim only this section right here, okay? Do not trim the outer portion, just where the satin is going to, to sew. I'm gonna do that and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Okay, I trimmed right up to the line there and I left everything else untrimmed. You wanna do that because um, you wanna trim this at the end because sometimes this will pull away if you, you trim it too close and you're turning your bag, it will pull away from the, the stitching there. So just keep that in mind when you're making applique. So let's go ahead and run the satin stitch now. Okay, the satin is done. Now um, there's a decorative stitch that'll go ahead and stitch over that. So I'm gonna run that now. Okay, that is done now. It's going to make a placement step right here for your tab. And then after that, um, we'll put the tab on. There's the placement for the tab. So now you wanna take your tab if you're going to put a side tab on and today I'm using a lobster clasp Ooh, dropping everything I only got one hand here to work with this um so just line it up to however you like it and secure it down and then it will um, stitch and hold it down just make sure your raw edges are on the outside of the bag pattern
Okay, so now that tab is on secure, um, the next step is your lining on the back side. So go ahead and turn over your your hoop after you take it out of your machine and um, the lining fabric. I forgot to mention earlier that I have it ironed over um, a little more than a quarter of, quarter of an inch. Um, and you want to line that up with where your zipper is almost, that line, that center line. And then the next step is going to secure your lining on. So secure it with tape and then put it back in your machine and run the next step. One thing I like to do at this point before I even sew on the lining to the back is I like to clean up my zipper area. That way I can see where my lining goes along with the, the center of the zipper. Um, that's just my preference. I like to do that at this stage. So now I'm going to go ahead and secure the lining onto the front of the bag. So now that the top lining is secure, go ahead and do the same thing for the bottom part. Take your ironed over piece and line it up with the zipper there. Um, put some tape on it and put it back in your machine and run the next step and it'll secure the lining on. So the lining's all secured on. Um, the next step is, oh, we're almost finished, to take your zipper and slide it open. I'm going to do that in a second when I have both hands. And then take your main back fabric. Got my pretty shiny stuff. And you're going to lay it face down over the entire bag, making sure all those lines are covered. And you're going to put it in the machine and it's going to run the whole outline for you. So I'm going to run that now and I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. Okay, now that that step is done, go ahead and turn it over to the back side and put your last piece of lining fabric um, pretty side down and secure it with tape and run that last step. We are almost finished. Okay, so we are done with the embroidery part of this now. Um, go ahead and remove from the hoop and get rid of all your stabilizer and we're gonna trim. And when you trim, this little opening here, just leave a little section here so a fabric so you can sew it or iron it um, or glue it or whatever you'd like to do to close that up. But we are going to turn through that. One other thing I like to do is I like to leave the zippers a little bit longer because when you're turning your bags, they pull and sometimes your zippers, if they're cut short, will come right out and you'll have to undo your bag and sew it by a sewing machine. So we want to prevent that from happening. So I just leave the zippers long too. So see how we did that. So let's go ahead and flip our bag over, see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the first step of when you have a lined bag, you turn it through the lining. I'm going to go ahead and glue my um, opening shut now. I just use um, stitch witchery and um, just melt it together. So that's what I'm going to do now. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to turn it and we'll see the magic. So it's sewn and turned the way it's supposed to. And look how cute. And there it is. It's so big all lined and ready ready to go the cute little zipper pull everything in that i used to make this bag was from sweet tea stitches <laughs> sweet tea stitches i can't even talk tonight the vinyl she's got a new line of vinyl it's really great i'll drop the links in the um comments down there um 
the black vinyl, her little zipper pull. Okay, the lobster clasp and the zipper is not in the fabric, but the vinyl and her little zipper pull. So sweet tea stitches for all the fun things to make this little bag. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.